Hi there, and um, welcome back. Um, I uh, made a little. I uh, wanted to make a little addition to my previous video about how to bring in a character from Mixamo uh, into Unreal Engine with the uh, road animation, um, because I realized that I had made a little mistake. So, um, for this video, I will uh, show uh, some climbing animation, and I. Uh, Specifically, want to point out the one that we had uh, in the previous video, uh, where she jumps up here, and um, then she wanna come to a hang at some point. So, if I want to use root uh, motion for both of these two, then uh, this second hanging idle is gonna have her hanging above um, the ground. So, um, when the animation is gonna transition to uh, this one. Um, and if I just keep the transla translations uh, that I sp spoke of in the last video, then she's going to be offset uh, relative to the last position that she uh, exited from this one. Okay, so let me uh, explain a little bit more. So uh, let's bring in the animation into uh, Maya again and um, take a look at them. So if I import the braced uh, version here and uh, just add the root as I mentioned also. Uh, call this root and give it a three and oops zero rot zero and zero. Okay and uh, we parent it. Oops that was delete. <laughs> okay so uh, let's go into the graph editor and on the hips copy these and uh, move it to the root okay or copy it rather okay so on the hips if we look at the translate C uh, we will notice that initially she has a position if we look at the first frame that are 96 and that number we want to uh, uh, remember so um, when I'm going to zero out this um, uh, this translation, actually I don't want to zero this one out uh, to 96. I want to go to the root and make sure that um, this one starts at zero, um, so that uh, I can zero out. Uh, or, yeah, whatever. So um, let's start off by moving this down so it starts off. At zero, hmm. like this. Okay, so uh, if we scrub the animation a little bit, we can see she, he's uh, she's dipping underground now. But that's the reason uh, we need to adjust the translation on the z-axis here as well. So we need to make sure now we need to still to flatten it out. But I mentioned some, some, something last time about uh, just adjusting it uh, to something. But if we need to make this uh, these two animations uh, use root motion, they need to align up perfectly. So I'm going to make sure that this one is flat on 96 on the hip. So when we take a look at the feet now and, uh, and the animation, you can see she stays on the ground. So I actually also also need to take uh, this uh, Y and X, but these I can uh, safely just move to uh, flatten out and move to zero zero because I have the um, the translation also already on the on the what do you call it the root. Okay, so that's gonna be zero here and. X on the hips is also going to be flattened out, and put it to close to zero. So now we have an animation where the feet stand still, and she's going to jump up into the air. Okay, so let's save this one. Take a look at it. Um, export all. Postfix this with RM for root motion, and I'm gonna make a new 
soon and also bring in the idle animation so we have something to look at and compare. So hang in idle. That is here. And uh, we want to make the root again. So, so. And parent it. And make sure it's called root. Okay. So in this animation, we want the hip distance here to be uh, exactly 96. Um, so let's take a look at that. So first of all, we go to, to the hips and as we did before, just copy these values and put them on the root. So that's going to bring her up a little bit, but anyway, uh, we'll fix that. Um, so actually on the root, let's take a look at that first. Um, because this one I want to set down to zero. So let's bring this down to start by zero. Oops. Oh, what do you know? It's starting at zero. Okay. So um, if we go up to the um, the hips we want to check take a look at the translate C and see what values we have there so <coughs> um, let's zoom in on the first frame here and we can see this is this is this is the one that we need to be exactly 96 so it's not 96 right now so we're gonna drag this one down It's not like 96 is a magic number, but it's the one that we recorded um, or took, took note of in the beginning. So that's what we're going to use as our, our fixed point. Okay, so 96. Okay, well, we need to remember to make sure that both the X and the Y also zeroed out on the hip. Otherwise, animation is gonna um, fit together <coughs> okay. and maybe they need to flatten out oh good it's not perfect okay this will work okay Okay. No, stop moving. Um, sorry, I'm getting lost in my keys. <laughs> okay, this is probably okay. So now we have uh, zeroed out the X and Y on the on the hips, and the translate C on the on the hip is starting at 96. So on the root, we have um, the uh, very subtle movement on the X and Y. And um, we made sure that the translate C starts at zero. So we are ready to export this. And we're going to export it to the hanging idle underscore rm. Okay, like this. And then let's jump into Unreal Engine and import them. Um, this one and this one. Okay, the two rm. And we import them onto the the one with the the root that I um, explained in the previous video how to make. Uh, just gonna let that import. Okay, so uh, once in here, we enable root motion for both of them, like this. So now we have root motion on both of them. So uh, let's take a look at how they fit together. In order to do this, I made use of this little trick to create a montage because it's uh, easy to see if they fit together. Um, and I see I made a little other mistake. I forgot to uh, shorten the animation. So let's do that first. I think um, the idle animation. 
animation is about 40 frames long. I'm just gonna make this. This up, oh, nice. Unreal Engine crashed. <laughs> I made it restart. Okay, and okay, let's try this again. Um, damn it, I lost my tool animation. I need to import them again, I'm sorry. Um, let's uh, create a folder for this and import. Run arm. And the root version. <coughs> root motion and make sure we okay this is actually 70 frames long okay so let's cut it here looks good okay so we also make sure that we cut the other animation I think it was about 40 so if you are going to do this you want to pay more attention to the number of frames than I do but uh, anyway um, so take the, the brace one because it's uh, the one we are going to start off with and create a montage from this one and drag in the um, idle here I have one extra because I already made this example um, so I hope they fit together now and I was picking the right one um, See, I didn't, or I forgot to maybe set root. They are both root, so it's not that. that I think I took took the wrong animation. Sorry. Um, maybe it's this one. Yeah, that's the right one. Okay, so if we um, turn down the play rate really low and press play. We can actually not see any glitch or jump on the animation. Let's play that again. Well, a very, very little uh, movement. Right. But that's what you are looking for. So uh, make this as little as possible. That's why you need to take these things into account when you translate your character. So uh, basically now I have a little work in front of me to just uh, make sure that I have um, adjusted the rest of the animations and then I can start off by um, making these climbing, um, this climbing functionality and uh, I think I'm gonna cover this in a later tutorial but for now I hope this helped um, clear out this little uh, mistake I mentioned in the last video. So thank you and bye.